I did not think this day through. Also. That's kind of close, but we're doing it. It's okay. So I made an order the other day from this uh, woman I follow on Instagram, uh, Elise, Elise Joy, um, and her company is called The Get to Work Book. Um, I've followed her on Instagram for years and I really, really love uh, her aesthetic and, and I wish that I still used planners in a way that made sense because hers are gorgeous, um, but I just don't really use planners uh, anymore. So her whole aesthetic is absolutely gorgeous and I love it. Um, and she had a sale. That's why I made an order. Um, so, oh my goodness, this is, this is gonna be a bit of a mess. But I wanted to open this up. You'll see in a second why I needed to open this now, before breakfast. <laughs> oh God. I almost bought this when it first came out because I just love the color. It's so cute. Um, like, let's go is a phrase that I use quite a lot. So I'm just like, ah, it's so good. But at the time, and honestly still, I was thinking that like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't buy any more mugs. I have too many mugs already. Um, lies, you can never have too many mugs. Oh, and there's also, got some little post-it-y things. Oh, sweet. I have a lot of stuff to do today, so I have no idea how this video is gonna work out. Um, it's 11.15, uh, which is like about when I usually wake up lately. Um, it's a little bit early today because I went to bed last night at like 4 a.m. Um, so there's that. I had to get up on time today because I am volunteering at the LA Food Bank. So I need to eat something rather quickly, get dressed, and go. And then uh, when I get home, I have a live yoga class that I like to go to. And then after that, I have a choir rehearsal. So I have no idea when this video is going to be uh, filmed or edited or any of that stuff. So if this is coming to you at like midnight 30, that's why. All right, so I think I have the focus thing all figured out. And I have a snack and an assortment of mugs in front of me. So this morning I opened up this mug. What? No, other way. This morning I opened up this mug and I, uh, I love it. I'm already obsessed with it. I haven't even used it yet. Like, cause after I opened it and was so excited to use it, I realized that I was gonna have to take my coffee to go today. So I had to use a different container. So I will have to use this tomorrow morning. Uh, or maybe for wine later today. We'll see. I also got a comment on yesterday's video about the mug that I was drinking from. And um, yes, it was a really strange mug 
and I filmed a part where I explained what the mug was, but I wound up cutting it because of like time and stuff. So here's the mug that I was drinking from yesterday. Um, this is a ceramic version of Space Mountain, the ride in Disneyland um, slash Disney World. I am obsessed with it. It has this little lid, which is so necessary to make it look like Space Mountain. Um, and the bottom has, which way? Let's go this way. Uh, the bottom, it's like a commemorating the anniversary. Which anniversary? 75, 77? I don't know. It's commemorating an anniversary uh, for Space Mountain, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. But it's here. I love it. So between the two of these mugs, I realized that I should just do a little bit of like a mug tour. Why not? Uh, because I have some really cool looking mugs that I like a lot. So I think I should, I'm gonna do a little, a little show and tell. There we go. This is my um, next newest mug uh, from the two that I've already shown. I got, just got it at Wild Market. It doesn't really have a story beyond it. I just think it's really, really cute. It's kind of like speckled and got the campers thing. It was a Valentine's Day special, um, but it's so cute. I love it. So this is another favorite. Um, quite obviously, this is my I Want to Believe X-Files mug. An old roommate got this for me as a birthday present, um, and it is still like one of the best birthday presents I've ever received. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this one is another favorite of mine. Um, this is my Sherlock Holmes mug. And I got this at the Sherlock Holmes Museum in London. So on the one side it says uh, Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, and then it has the address 221B Baker Street because um, that is the actual address of the museum as well, which is really lovely. Um, and then on the back, it just has a quote from the series. Um, we met next day and inspected the rooms at 221B Baker Street. And so there you go. It's really cute. I like it a lot. Um, it has some little like gold detailing on it and like the edge is gold. Oof, it's like stained on the inside. The edge is gold, but like it's kind of worn off. It's starting to wear off. Um, oh yeah. So, and it also has this uh, little like thing on the bottom. I don't like. I can't bring it. If I bring it any closer, it's not gonna want to focus. Like I've I've experimented with this. So like this is this is where I can focus on the thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I got this a couple years ago when my choir went to London. Um, it was a really great trip. Actually, I have a video of that trip. I will have to link that in either the description or in like an info card or something like that. So if you're interested, take a look at that. My choir went to England and we toured with uh, Christopher Tin. We and it, I'm in a video game, um, we, it's a whole thing. Maybe I'll have to make a video about that too. <laughs> but, so, but moving on. Um, this one is a mug that I got from my gym. They had a kindness challenge last year uh, for, I think it was the month of January, maybe the month of February. Um, and you had to like do a certain number of things like um, introducing yourself to strangers and just like nice, nice things. Um, and if you completed the challenge, you got a mug. So I got a mug. I have two more mugs that are both thrift store mugs, so they don't really have any particular story to them. Um, they're just ones that I really liked. There are definitely a handful of mugs that I did not bring out. And to be quite honest, I might have to uh, bring some of those to the thrift store because hmm, there she is. Hi, hi baby. So 
but we're gonna try this. I don't know how all this is gonna work. Um, like I was saying, I have some mugs that I didn't pull out to show because they're not as exciting, but I think I should probably revisit those not as exciting things, mugs, and donate some of them, uh, slash get rid of some of them, because there are definitely some that I don't love anymore. So it's, it's, I should declutter, I suppose. Hi. Yeah, I know. But two thrift store mugs. Here's the first one. It's a little teeny one. And let's go on this side, one flower on this side. And then two flower on this side. If I have like a pot of tea or um, if I'm, no, I'm going to be drinking a whole French press or something like that. I will usually use a smaller mug because then I can do like just little, little, take little bits and leave the rest in the teapot or in the French press. Hi, are you leaving? Oh, okay. And then my last favorite mug is this one, which um, I feel like the colors are not showing up super well on camera because um, this just looks a lot darker than it actually is. But this was, like I said, another thrift store find, and uh, it's just like this really weird shape. And it's very clearly handmade, uh, including the fact that it has like a signature on the bottom. Um, I really like how at the top it's got kind of this like, not quite a pour spout, but a little bit. So like I can drink out the side, one of the sides but if I need to pour it into something else, it's just like really well built for that. So there we go. Da da da. Yeah, that's, that's all I have. Um, day two of Vita. There you go, done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. I'm gonna go take a live yoga class and then I'm gonna go to rehearsal and then I'm gonna get to edit this. So this is probably going up fairly late tonight. Uh, it is what it is. I'm really excited to see that there are a lot of friends of mine who are also participating in Vita. Um, I'm so excited that you guys are doing this with me. I am just super excited to kind of get that like old school YouTube vibes going. Um, oh, other thing. I made a Discord, um, and I part of the reason that I made a Discord is because that is kind of the standard thing to do on Twitch. So it's gonna be a little plug that if you'd like to join my Discord, I will happily send you the invite. I'm not able to stream uh, on Twitch today, as I just had pretty full schedule, um, but I am planning on streaming tomorrow. So if you're interested in that, uh, whether you're familiar with Twitch or not, please check it out. Um, if you are not familiar with Twitch, you may need to make an account. It's not a big long, it's, it shouldn't be a big long process, um, but then you can chat with me live uh, and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun, uh, highly recommend. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.